Ooh, what's up guys? This is Minecraft Man. Welcome to episode 3 of Attack of the B Team. And uh, yeah, I've been... I actually moved into a little house here in the village. I decided to just make a little abode here. And I kind of morphed two houses together. Uh, but this one is the apothecary or something. I feel like that has to do with death. But anyway, we're switching it to my house. So there we go. And yeah, it is next to this cemetery, so that's a bit spooky. But um, anyway, yeah, I just got my first chest here, and it's already filled up. But yeah, we're definitely going to need to go back to that ravine and get all those other ores, because I know there's lots of uh, valuable things there. So uh, yeah, basically that is it, and this is a really neat village. I know you guys saw it at the end of the last episode. But yeah, um, some things I want to tell you guys is I figured out how to get the hats, and I do have some. Right now I have axe head on, and it's in the back of my head. If I press F5, I have like an axe in my head. That's a bit annoying. And then there's this thing, and uh, that looks awesome. I don't really know what it is. It must be like horns with a ring on them or something. Oh, uh, yeah, but really cool there. So I'm thinking this is going to be the chest house, and then over here is just like all the other cool things you can make. And, uh, apparently someone said if you put four crafting tables together, you get a crafting station. And let me look it up and see if that's actually true. Oh, you just put a crafting table in by itself. That's pretty cool. Let's do that right now. Uh, they said that that makes it so you don't lose items, like you can store them inside. So, that is definitely useful if I need to craft something, so... Thanks to whoever suggested that, I forgot your name, because, you know, I don't have it open in the background or whatever. But yeah, that's definitely going to be helpful. And yeah, I, on the mini-map here, I see a uh, big ravine here, and uh, that might be some oil or something. I'm not really sure, but we should definitely go exploring, I think. But before we do that, we can... Wow, that is a lot. Yeah, but we definitely want more food, as much food as we can get. So I'll just turn all this into food, then we can hit the road. But yeah, I'm glad you guys are enjoying Act uh, Attack of the Bee Team. I know some of you are, and some people don't watch it, but that's definitely okay. It's a acquired taste, I guess, to like the modded things. But um, anyway, let's kill this zombie, get out of here, and wow, that's cool. We got a zombie head from that. So first time that's happened... Uh, I really need more chests, though. I think I need to go cut down a tree of some sort and uh, get some more wood going. Yeah, I don't really see a tree. Oh, my goodness. I need that hat right now. That is the best hat I've ever seen in my life. There we go. Awesome. Well, we got a pig hat now. That is great. Let's put it on. Oh, yeah. That is definitely what I need. And it covers my eyes and everything. That is amazing. Wow, so, um, ooh, what is that? It has, like, a. what is that? That is amazing. It has a, like, horse on the back. Wow, I definitely need this. Is this my horse? I guess it is, but why does it have a, <laughs> why does it have a, like, a googly eyes on the back and things? I don't really know. That is really strange. That is great, though. I love that. It looks great. Uh, I don't know if that's like a hat or something it has on or whatever. I don't know. Let's see what happens when I press H when I'm inside it. Nope. Uh, it doesn't look like it. And yeah, sorry my voice is a bit uh, pitchy because uh, just a little bit broken because all this pollen and things in the air really messes with my voice. So it's a bit more... Um, like pitchy than it normally is and wow there's a lot of creepers here i'm gonna oops i guess i didn't run away fast enough oh there's still another creeper wow there's a lot oh, come on it's like glitched in the floor or something oh that's one way to settle it but yeah thanks to this diamond armor uh there's nothing that can hurt me at least yet i don't know how wild this mod pack gets all right yeah let's just go um I think I'm just going to tear down a little bit of a house. We definitely want a chest up in here. And, uh, yeah, I'm thinking for this series, it's definitely... I want to do less editing than I did, would on um, Minecraft for Meh, like the survival series. So, if that's okay with you guys, that is what I want to do. Just because I don't know anything in this series. 
and be kind of good to explore with you guys. Uh, whereas with survival, I know basically everything, so it's not like a new learning experience for me or anything. So, yeah, let's turn these into chests. All right, put them in the storage house over here. And uh, there we go. Yeah, I definitely need to put way more of this stuff. I don't really need any of it for anything, at least nothing that I know of yet. Uh, Tinkerer's Construct, I definitely want to try that. I know you guys suggested that as a something I should learn. So I'm probably going to try to research up on that sometime. And then there's a tongue of dog. That's kind of gross. And uh, yeah, but I do like how it shows what mod everything is from, basically. Like it's from Tropicraft, uh, Tinker's Construct, things like that. That definitely will help me out. I won't like mismatch items and things. So yeah, let's go uh, check out the ravine here. And I think I'm going to switch to the uh, horse for this one. Because it helps uh, when you can uh, climb up blocks like that without having to jump. That's something I definitely uh, like because I hate having to jump up every single block all the time, you know. So, yeah, let's travel over here. And, uh, oh, it looks like the ravine is actually this way. I should be paying more attention to the mini-map. Yeah, that is huge, though. Let's let's uh, take a look. Oh, yeah. It's actually not too deep, so we can actually just walk right into it. That's kind of useful. And we can... Uh, I'll probably have to mine all this stuff. There's some iron and things. Some gold, redstone, coal. Ooh, uh, another dungeon. This is crazy. We're finding so many dungeons lately. Let me switch to my spider here. We can uh, get up and check it out. Yeah, that's definitely my favorite feature of the spider, obviously, is that you can just climb up anything. At least until the bat comes, it's a good thing to have. So, yeah, let me just interrupt you guys, and I really don't have anything to... Uh, I don't have any torches, so I'll just block it off for now. That is really useful, though. I love skeleton spawners for mob traps, so I think we can make a mob trap there. That's definitely safe to say. That would be definitely useful, being around our house. And yeah, let's see if there's anything like a chunk loader or something, because that would be amazing. Chunk loader. What is... Th oh, yes! Is this... This is real. They have a chunk loader. Oh, that would be so useful for a um, automated farm. Wow, that is great. I want to learn the mod or the mod that uses that. Definitely, that is important for me. And let's see here. Let's turn into an Enderman because why not? It's cool to be tall every once in a while. Yeah, I think this is. Oh, why am I going in that? That is. That was stupid. Ah, wow. I'm I'm dizzy with this. What did this make me? I got a wither effect. Oh my gosh, that definitely wasn't healthy. Uh, I think it must do that to all mobs, though. Just the fact that I was an Enderman made it even worse. Okay, yeah. Because I remember playing uh, Hexen things where you just walk into oil and it's like it's no big deal. But I like that they added some effects to that. Definitely helps out. And yeah, let's see here. I want to... I already tore down the house, but I need to tear this one down a little bit more. Because uh, I want to finish up the wood roof on top of my house. So, I'll just I'll just take two more logs. I'm sorry. And, uh, yeah, you see this cobblestone right there. I just want to replace it with the correct material. So it'll look a little bit better. Yeah, there we go. At least it'll look good from the inside. It kind of... Oops. <laughs> Whoopsies. Let's uh, just be me for this one. All right. Oh, there we go. Yeah, that just looks a lot better. But, you know, not perfect yet. Let's put away some of this stuff. We got the Food Plus mod. I'm going to have to find out what the most effective type of food is. Make a farm or something like that. Uh, yeah, but st since we're in the beginning of episodes, I think the best thing to do right now would just to be explore and see what I can find. So I'm going to 
uh, go explore. I still want to find a bat, and I'm sure there's lots of other cool things that we can find. So, uh, yeah, I'm going to go look for things. I'll see you guys when we find something awesome. Didn't have to walk too far, but looks like we found one of those untouched slime things, and I have seen those in Hexit, so I know what those are. But uh, I don't really want to go tackle that until we actually get... Uh, and why is... If it's, like, way more foggy now. Am I in, like, a fog biome or something? Oh, it's the Arctic, so it's all, like, snowy. I get it. But, uh, yeah, once we get the bat, I'll definitely want to go up there and check it out. I've seen the blocks. They're pretty cool blocks that you can experiment with. Uh, wow, mushrooms. Are you serious? That is the best, because... Oh, I need that hat. I'm sorry. I really need that hat. Towering pillars of hats. Come on, that's the best. And I guess I'm a mushroom, but... Okay. Looks like axe head just kind of makes you have a thing sticking out. I still like the pig hat, though. It looks great on whatever mob. But, um... Anyway, do these have any special abilities? No. Okay. I want to lure one of these back, and then we would have infinite food forever. That is something that, uh, you know, in vanilla is always, like, the best thing ever to have infinite food. And that was, like, one of the best food sources in the game. So, I definitely would want to do that. Yeah, okay. Well, we're in this new biome. I've never seen the fungi forest before. Looks like we got some biomes of plenty toadstools around and I guess I'll take one for my witch crafting or something. I'm not sure what to do with it yet. <laughs> yeah, but um, I'm really happy with the commentary of this episode. I hope you guys are too. And I don't know what happened, but for some reason I'm just talkative today, I guess. So Awesome, we got some swamp flowers. I'm just going to take all these things. Who knows when they'll become useful. Ooh, glow. Glow shroom. That sounds good. And this is this is nice water. Ooh. That's cool. Lily pads actually have the flowers on them. And what is that? Looks like someone threw up on a tree. Oh, okay. Well, that makes more sense if it's moss. Alright, yeah. Looks like we're getting near something, though. Ooh, another one of those... Uh, item-rich ravines. Let's switch to our... Spider to get across this. Our, oh, got stuck in the in the moss there. Okay, yeah, there we go. This looks like a big water channel. This will be pretty cool. Switch back to me. Nice. Lots of really pretty areas I found in this mod pack so far. I haven't really seen too many evil things. Like I thought I'd see a lot more. Oh no, that it looks very evil. <laughs> this looks like a very evil place. What is this biome? This is really freaky. The ominous woods. Yeah, I guess I spoke too soon. This is like the scariest thing I've ever seen ever. Oh my goodness, is there something like evil in here? What is this? Oh no, why did I... That's bad. Don't go in the water. That is one thing to keep in mind. This is really freaky. This is... Oh my goodness. I can't see, like, anything. Can I swim in this? Yeah. Alright. Oh man. This turned into, like, a horror film or something. <laughs> Wasn't expecting this. And it's turning nighttime as well. That probably is not good. Jeez. Can't see, like, a foot in front of me. Oh, my goodness. I guess I'll come back to you guys uh, if there's anything scary. Ooh, looks like we got an Enderman. That's not too bad, though. I've seen those before. Nothing, nothing too scary yet. Uh, let's look at the mini-map, though. Oops, that's wrong. Uh, I like... Th there's a pink thing. I don't think that's normal, so <laughs> let's go check out this pink thing over here. But wow, this is like pitch black nighttime. This is crazy stuff right here. So, yeah, we'll go check out what this building is real quick, though. I want to... Oh, my. What was... What did that? Was that the dead trees, like, stabbing me or something? 
Yeah, this is definitely creepy. Looks like we're coming close to that wooden shack. Here it is. Huh, what is this? It better not be uneventful. I want there to be a mob or something. Oh, okay. We got a... Uh, got some witch things. Look just like a generic witch house. But then what's that? I see that, but what is this? Like, this thing... Looks like we can go this way and it'll show up. Whoa. Guess we got a pink tree. I'm gonna... Oh, it... okay, so it's, um... Just a pink tree. Alright, well that was a bit uneventful. I wish there was... There was more action... Action-packedness in the series, but, um... Oh, that's great. I don't know what did that. Definitely wasn't that water, though. That water's usually safe. Uh, yeah, I guess I'm gonna keep exploring or something. And what the... Can I not eat or something? Jeez. That is strange. Okay. Oh, yeah, let's get out of here. I'm, I'm freaked out by this. We gotta find the other side. We found the overgrown greens. That's a little bit nicer than this place. That place is gross, but, um... Yeah, so far that's basically it. You know, our house is, um, where is our house? <laughs> that's kind of confusing. Oh, our house is here. So we went through down here and now we're here. So Ooh, what is that? I don't know how we didn't notice these things. Looks like some sort of ship or something. Interesting. Well, I guess we should go check those out. But I'll make a loop around so we don't just uh, go over the territory we've already been. Yeah, we'll eat more food. And I uh, killed a cave spider, so I now have that on my list of things. So that is possibly useful. It has like... I need to learn what these attributes are. But it has a new one that I haven't seen before. So that's cool. And yeah, let's see. Ooh, it definitely goes quickly over water though i tell you that is fast <laughs> oh we got to an orchard here i feel like it's just a fast uh creature so i wonder if there's any like water animals or something that i can kill and get their abilities that would be cool as well so yeah this is this area isn't too nice Ooh, what's that looks like just a way to connect to the mainland i guess i'll just go Oh, I'm looking at the mini-map, by the way. So I'll just go over that way. But before we do that, we should totally go get these hay bales so we have more food. These are like the best things I've seen to get food in a while. It's great. Too bad there's nothing like this in vanilla. So there is a skeleton monster spawner. Oh, man, I wish they had one of these closer to my ha the house. Um, I know I can modify that other skeleton spawner, but these are like right on the surface. Uh, so that is definitely neat. I wonder if there's a way to actually pick up spawners because if there was That would be awesome. You guys should let me know in the comments if that's actually possible Because if it is then I would definitely come back and take that That's for sure. Let's switch back to the cave spider because it seems to go faster along the water Yeah, that's definitely faster Look at that. It's like gliding across it That's definitely cool and I don't think we've been to this biome before. What is this? This is wetlands. Alright. I think I'm going to want to be um, taller for this one. <laughs> Ooh, why does the zombie have... Oh, I have two different types of zombie. That's cool. I don't know how to select over there, but... Yeah, back to me. I think I'm the best to conquer this land. Oh, cool. Alright, we got some cat... They call them cattails? Yeah. I had those around my house sometimes. And then what is this? We got some mud. That is cool. Mud is awesome. That's... I'll probably want to use that block for something. It looks like a pretty nice road texture. So that is neat. And yeah, I guess that is the full circle of this thing we explored. So, I mean, I don't know. I, you know, we didn't find too many things. But I think it's a big world and we can definitely find more things in the future. But uh, the focus for next episode will definitely be to 
um, you know, actually get started with a mod. Probably Tinkerer's Construct, depending on how hard it is. I'll kind of go look at what other people did who started Attack of the B-Team and uh, find out what is one of the best mods to start out with. But yeah, I do want to get uh, into some sort of mod. And uh, I'll probably go collect all those materials off camera in that um, ravine and things. So yeah, definitely we'll do that. And um, yeah, just you know, let me know as always what you guys want me to do. And I'll definitely consider your suggestions. Yeah, let's get this witch. You do. You are not skilled in the art. That is true. I mean, we could definitely learn the witchcraft art, no problem. But uh, currently, we have not. And what is this? Apparently, grass. And if I step in this, I feel like I'm gonna instantly die. Yep. Basically, instantly die. Once again, poison. <laughs> oh, well. I guess that's what happens with these things. Uh, but yeah, we're going back to my house anyway. So when we get there, I guess I'll end off the episode. I don't really want to, though. I'm having a lot of fun on Attack of the B-Team. I might just continue recording the next one. And uh, yeah, if, if Attack of the B-Team's this awesome, I might as well do a lot more episodes on it. So if you're excited for that, let me know. Maybe let's try to get 50 likes for this episode. And yeah, I'll see you guys at my house. Oh, I've discovered sea creatures. All right. What are these? I don't know. But I guess I am one now. I, they look like... um. What are those? Like crab... Hermit crabs. Or something. Yeah, but it looks like they don't have any special attribute. That's a bit annoying. <laughs> I wish they did. I wish they had like a water swimming thing or something. That would be cool. Yeah, we're basically at home though. So, thank you for watching, guys. This has been Minecraft for Meh. Aim for 50 likes. And yeah, I'll see you guys in the next episode of Attack of the B Team. Uh, let me F5 here. <laughs> Bye. <laughs>